I believe capitalism, or at least, and it's hard to use that word because it's so, yeah, so filled tinted, with yeah. political stuff, both from the Marxist perspective and from the libertarian perspective. But capitalism is the best way to have people fulfill what uh, the, actually most of the moral commands of God. I mean, because because I think um, when you like, I, I would say that I had a radio show in Denver for four years. Uh, before I went to work in Congress in 2010. Mm -hmm. And I would constantly talk about if you're just the greediest jerk in the world and you want to be a billionaire, what do you have to do? No, you have to have a product that people want. Yep. You have to keep updating that product mm -hmm. by talking to them. You have to have employees who deliver that product well or manufacture it well or service or whatever. You got to treat them well. Yeah, I mean, if not, you really want to be wealthy, to be, you know. Yeah, not easy to yeah, be mean. So, that's right. And so all along the way in the process, you got to keep going back to your employees and to your customers and say, what do you need? And ultimately, if you, mm -hmm. even if you remain the greediest bastard in the world, yeah. you know, <laughs> you've got to follow the golden rule to you get do, wealthy. Yeah. And, and again, it's not a perfect analogy, but it's pretty close to perfect because yeah, that's well, ultimately the, at the end, what the capitalist system does it values people who perform for others uh -huh. um, as opposed to performing yes, exactly. for themselves whereas the perception is that the capitalist is greedy and taking advantage of others yeah like you said it's impossible to to get rich quick really anywhere in a capitalist society it's just whereas in a socialist world you know you just have to know the right people and be connected in that way and i'm not saying that doesn't exist in some ways in, in a capitalist world yeah but, you can but, of course um really in order to to rise to the top really you have to be you have to make people want to work for you because you know they have to they have to have some degree of loyalty really for you to do well so people need to be loyal to your product they need to think it's good enough to be worth coming back to people need to to want to come into work the next day and not just quit and go to work somewhere else they have to have the right sort of conditions and i think uh, people people often think you know ideas like the minimum wage um yeah. are ways to guarantee um that workplaces are have the right conditions and, and are fair for their employees but really that's just setting kind of like a lowest common denominator like people it's saying you can go this low rather than saying you have to be this high because realistically if people weren't happy with the wages they're being paid they wouldn't take the job in the first place so um yeah if, if it's a free society yeah. where they can actually make that choice exactly, yeah. and that's that's the fundamental aspect of uh of a capitalist society is that the worker and the producer or the capitalist all have the ability to make choices and to be candid workers can become capitalists if they work hard enough. That's, that's, see, I think that's a fundamentally biblical principle in my mind. And it's, I think it's so difficult to hear Christians so often talk about um, the injustices and inequities of free market systems and and it's like you you're not asking all the right questions there are injustices and inequities i mean hello we live in a fallen world there's no way to escape that you, as i say 6000 years of recorded human history proves the moral depravity of man you you're not going to get away from that construct which is also biblical and well and and clearly stated but they they don't ask questions about okay so we see greed in this capitalist but do you ever see government greed I mean, I, this recent revelation on Joe Biden is we're just in the run up to the November 3rd election where he was working with his family and using his position as vice president to rake in bill, literally billions of dollars into his family. And of course, plausible deniability, you know, they're doing all the work, but it's coming to me through them. Listen, this kind of greed is is very real. I mean, is there a socialist society that's not greedy? As you mentioned, if you want if you want to become get rich quick in a socialist society, we'll get connected to the government and steal from people. Yeah, <laughs> you know exactly. Yeah, so, and Margaret Thatcher used to have you know the the great saying when people talked about the gap between the the richest and the poorest in society. You know, she would say that you know if people who are um, advocates for socialist systems, you know. They would rather that, uh, for example, that the the poor be here and the rich be here, rather than yeah. you know, the poor being here and the rich being higher. You just you know they they're yeah. more concerned it about all the gap. Up, yeah. yeah, rather than yeah. rather than you know, people being so 
like the gaps in society being so small you rather you know people were higher and there'd be a bigger gap you know that's just maybe the way things i think that's the fairer way for things to work themselves out because really what i mean really in the socialist world you have sort of the poor and then the rich and then the leaders that are just off the off the chart so yeah yeah i don't it's funny how that happens in in communist and socialist countries where the gap yeah. is enormous you know you would think they would be the the systems where there would be no gap at all and, and marx obviously talked about the kind of falling away of the state in the end but human nature makes that impossible in my in my eyes for this utopian society where people are completely yeah obsessed with making sure everyone's taken care of like i just don't see that happening and i think capitalist thought maybe provides the best construct for for the greedy and the the people who are truly selfish to be restricted from exploiting others you know i think that's capitalism means that if you're purely interested in yourself you won't really get anywhere unless you're yeah like we said you're super well connected Um.